Good day folks and welcome to the IT way. My name is Joan and today we have a very interesting video. We're going to configure the firewall rules into the dashboard for the Cisco Meraki MX security appliance. In order to do so, we have to enter to the dashboard portal and we're going to go to different places to make that configuration. Mainly what we're going to do is three different firewall rules. We're going to have three different VLANs. It's going to be an internal VLAN just for internal resources. It's going to be a guest VLAN just for guests. And the other one is going to be a server VLAN. So the three rules that we're going to apply is first, we have to block traffic from the internal VLAN all the way to the internet. We have to block traffic from the guest VLAN to the servers internally. And we're going to have to block traffic from the guest VLAN to the internet, especially just for the social media. So it's very good. So let's get to it and let's see the dashboard. <laughs> Now we will configure the firewall rules in the security appliance MX in the dashboard portal. To start with this, we're going to check and verify what, what are the VLANs that we have in this specific MX. We're going to security and SD1, addressing and VLANs. Here we're going to see three different VLANs. First one, 192. 168.1.0 is going to be VLAN 1, the internal, VLAN 2, guest, and VLAN 3, server. We're going to have three firewall rules. That the first one has to block all traffic from the internal VLAN to the internet. Second one has to block all traffic from the guest VLAN to the servers. And the third one is going to block all social media traffic from the guest VLAN. To do so, we have to go to the firewall section. So we have to go to security and SD1 firewall. Here we're going to have the different options to configure these layer 3 rules and layer 7 rules. The layer 3 rules are the first two, to block traffic from the internal VLAN to the internet. We click add the rule. We're going to deny because it's a deny policy. Protocol, we're going to put any because it's going to be any traffic from the internal VLAN. Source, we're going to type our internal VLAN, slash 24, and the destination is going to be any, because it's the internet. We're going to put block internet traffic. The second one is block traffic from the guest VLAN to the server VLAN. It's going to be the same, denied, the protocol, we're going to select any, and we're going to type our guest VLAN. The destination is going to be the server VLAN. Blog guest to server. After that, we just one rule remaining. We have to block social media from the guest VLAN. Social media has different public IP addresses, so we cannot use the layer, three, the layer 3 firewall rule. That's why we have to go down and go to the layer 7 section. We can add a layer 7 firewall rule, deny. We're going to find through the drop down which category we want. In this case is social web and photo sharing. And you can select either one specific social web or you can select all of it. In this case, we're going to use all of it and save the changes. And that's it. In this case, we have the three firewall rules that are necessary. Block traffic from the internal VLAN to the internet, block traffic from the guest to the server, and block any social media from <clears throat> the guest VLAN to the internet as well. After having the layer server firewall rules configured, now we can try to see if that works well. We're going to open a new tab. And then we're going to try different websites. Let's say Instagram.com. As you can see, it's not loading. So it's blocked. Let's try another one. Facebook.com. Yes. So based on that, the firewall rule is taking place. So it says that the site is not reachable. So that works. 
And that's how you configure the firewall rules in the Cisco Meraki Security Appliance MX in the dashboard. If you have any questions or still there's something that was not completely clear, just put your comments below. I can help you out to configure the MX as well. In addition to that, in the comments in the description, I'm going to put the documentation relating to these firewall rules. And if you have any special requirements, you can find the steps to do over there. So that's how you configure the firewalls in the Meraki way. See you in the next one.